Tacky Cult Tribe, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical out here at our undisclosed Warhog training location. Uh, before we get started here, I want a big shout out to Combat Buckles for my awesome hat. Uh, waiting to see how this thing works out for today's workout. Uh, another big shout out is Atax Camo. Thank you, new Brute Force bag and their Atax Ghost. Um, we'll talk about the bag in today's workout a little bit. Make sure guys, you got your training book. So I'm gonna read right out of here so that you guys kind of get a gist for what's going on. So today's workout for 28 August, or whenever you guys can get to a chance, this is my workout day. Uh, we're gonna start with, uh, basically that's our 100 meters, down to our, or excuse me, our, uh, yeah, that's our 100, down to our 50, and then this is our 25 that's right behind. Um, so we're gonna start with a 50 meter run down. Um, once we get there, we're going to run with the bag on our shoulder. Once we get there, we're going to drop the bag, fire one shot. And then what we're doing is we're doing five repetitions over the shoulder. So it'll be five right, five left, alternating. And then simultaneously, it's going to be strong and support hand only. <clears throat> Once we get done that, then we're going to grab our bags and we're going to throw them left and right. And however far the bag goes, we're going to move to it. And again, we're firing one shot, but this time we're going to be using freestyle or both hands on that one. So we're going to throw it back to the 50, then back up to the 25. So that's kind of our what we're looking to use for our, uh, our progression today. So ideally, if we can get four iterations of that in, that would be awesome. Uh, I'm going to finish up depending what you've got. So I want to give you some different opportunities. Ropes are always a good one. If you've got ropes nearby, hit the ropes. If not, get some uh, some pull-ups in, and then we're gonna do a two-mile run, but we're gonna do it in quarter-mile intervals using our brute force bag. So the great thing, if you guys <clears throat> don't have a brute force bag, I, I recommend you get one. The cool thing is, is when you get your bag, they've got all these multiple handles on there for different grab points, and you'll see we'll start using the bag for different variants. Uh, and then also, it comes with these two sandbag limits so one's already in there so I can adjust my weights as I'm doing my different workouts so this is definitely a pro there and again just a quick zipper and slide um, for some of these if you don't have <clears throat> a brute force bag completely understand again we can use our kettlebell kettlebell is always an option you know we can come up drop it behind us it's a technique that we can use we've also got ammo can if you guys have that I mean that's definitely an option as well so Try to find what's around. I'm not trying to burden you guys financially when you're not training. It's just think about different ideas, um, you know, as far as training goes. So again, classic Warhawk fashion, I want to do an administrative load on my pistol. So I'm going to draw my pistol. My sights are good. Lock my slide to the rear. Load like I would. Present back out. Do my Warhawk check. I'm loaded up. Good to go. Holster. Get my fresh mag out. And here we go. Make sure you guys get your eyes and ears. So again, same thing, I'd use my stopwatch or whatever I'm doing because I want to try to start getting my times to gauge. I'll hit my stopwatch, we're gonna have somebody tell me ready, go. I'm grabbing the bag, throwing it up, taking off, running. Once I get down, dump. Let me readjust so you guys can see. And again, I'm going to go ahead and fire one shot, boom, holster. And then what I'm doing is I'm coming here. And again, over the left side, draw pistol transfer. Do that one more time over the right side. And again, over the left side. Once I've finished that up for five on each, then what I'm looking to do is I'm gonna take the bag and then however far I throw it, that's where I'm moving to.
Go from that side to the other side. <coughs> I do that down, do that coming back up, and that would kind of be your, uh, your workout for the day. So again, it's just trying to get you guys thinking, figure out what's going on. Don't forget to make sure you got your water with you. Hydrate between your stages. Control that breathing. You'll see your arms will start getting fatigued. But again, figure out if you noticed, what was I concerned with? Getting my hits. Because if I miss, that's 10 seconds. So again, out there, just control your breathing. Everything's good. Settle your sights. Make your shot. As long as I'm doing it sub 10 seconds and getting a good hit, I'm actually making time, so it's all good. Um, <clears throat> remember guys, so games are coming up in, um, in September, that Thursday before what should be the 19th, we're doing a clinic. If you guys are interested, uh, warhog.com for more info and we'll start, uh, we'll start working that piece. Guys train hard, train smart. See you guys in the game field. Go to warhog.com for more info. Take care.